you are there why no one has come chaitanya bhagwan is not coming why hari for how many days now just Seven ages. Have you done this poem in school? Which one? Not started. Okay, not started. Something that is said 300 years ago fits even today. 
That is the best thing about best part about Shakespeare. So Shakespeare, he was uh, born. He was born in 1564 to 1616. Means, oh my God, more than 400 years ago, this war was in. More than 400 years. Ago. He was born in Stratford upon Avon. He is considered by many to be the greatest dramatist of all times. He wrote 154 sonnets. Uh, sonnet is a poem which has seven lines. Okay. So he wrote 154 different sonnets, two long narrative poems, and um, about three dozen plays. 36 plays. Shakespeare used poetic dramatic means to create unified aesthetic effects. In verse, he perfected the dramatic black verse. That means this poem, his poems do not have any rhyme scheme. Okay? They are not written when there is no rhyme scheme. We say the poem is written in three verse. But this is not a free verse. There is no rhyme scheme, but it has a rhythm of steady five beats. He has written poems in a, in a different beat altogether, and that is known as blank verse. Okay. So, when you read this poem, you realize it is not completely, there is no rhythm, rhyme, there is no rhyme. There is a rhythm to the poem. It, it, apna it details this poem, and that is known as blank verse. Okay. If you see the sentence, the sentence ends in the middle of the sentence. That means I'll see. Now let's see. He says, All the world is stage. He says, All the world is stage. Okay? The, all the world is stage. And all the men and women merely players. And we all men and women are just actors on this stage. Our roles decide to be And we play those roles. All the men. All the world is stage and all men, all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances. The people, the players, the actors, they enter the stage, they exit the stage. The same way we enter the, the stage of life and exit in birth and other people die. New people are born, some people that they have their entrance and their exits. And one man in his time plays many parts. He plays many parts. His act acts being seven ages. So he says he plays many parts, but if we divide, it will be divided in seven different ages. What is the first one? The act first. The infant, a very small child. At first, the infant, mewling and puking. Mewling is the ah, that sound, no? And mewling and puking in the nurse's arms. Or to go to the nurse. Mewling and puking in the nurse's arms. Then, he starts going to the school. Then, the whining school boy. Chasasar Pele, he. But just who the other sometimes used to whine. Whining is the one who keeps complaining. Then the whining schoolboy with his satchel and shiny morning face, creeping like snail, unwilling to school. Because then comes the stage of a schoolboy. Where he, this whining, complaining schoolboy with his satchel, satchel is school back. With a satchel and shining morning, nice bright morning face. And he will drag himself to the school like a snail. Creeping like a snail. Unwilling to school. Unwillingly to school. Then he grows a little big. He becomes a teenager. And then comes a new stage. And then the lover, sighing like furnace, with woeful ballad made to his mistress' eyebrows. Then comes the stage when he's a teenager, then he falls in love. Then comes the stage when he's a lover. 
assignments sign like a furnace is burning for his mistress that is a today's term you might call it a girlfriend like a furnace making all sad poems writing all sad poems to her eyebrows that is all to her face so me to mistress is i then he grows older becomes a little more mature and now he has to take up some job now he has passed that teenage phase now comes the phase then a soldier now he is this young man who wants to do something in life then a soldier full of strange oaths and bearded like a like a bird jealous in honor sudden and quick in quarrel seeking the bubble reputation even in the canon's mark so abhi this is this angry young man he is this man who is in those days the common profession was being a soldier a very uh, reputed profession was being a soldier so he is now a soldier he is earning money he is full of strange oaths he has made full of these promises he wants to do some things with his life bearded like bird bearded like bird means bearded like leopard aise kaise bhi you know beard bana rakhi hai baal kaise bhi hai he is like this rough man jealous in honor sudden and quick in quarrel is very jealous if somebody gets more honor somebody wins something he is jealous he is sudden and quick in quarrel thoda bhi koi kuch bol dega he is he is instantly ready to call if somebody says something he is very quick to fight seeking double reputation is going after reputation he wants to earn a reputation for himself but reputation is like a bubble what does that mean it is very very you know the bubbles the big bubbles are very really short lived so reputation is very short lived people will praise you they say they will like so but he wants that praise he wants that reputation and for that he is even ready to face the cannon's mark that means he is ready to take any risk to earn the reputation but he does not understand that reputation is like a bubble it is very short lived he is ready to take that risk now he goes up the time passes now he grows up he is out of his 20 maybe he is now at the a little more mature phase now a justice and then the justice now he become more mature in a fair ground belly with good cap on line with eyes severe and beard of formal cut full of wise sauce and modern instances and so he plays his part so that angry young man phase also passes and he is now become a more mature man he is maybe in his late forties and now he has taken a more uh, a position he now he has a position he is like a judge that he holds a post he is a senior person wherever he works he said and now he has a little what do you say a paunch little you know a round belly he is no longer that fit boy that he was once upon a time in said round belly with good cap on line like you know nice fat rooster nice fat hen ki tarah he is also nice and round around his belly now his eyes are more serious he is no longer he does not have that you know beard like car effort now his beard is formally cut 
Now when he speaks, he is not very angry, he is not very jealous. He is full of wise thoughts. He talks about wise things. He talks about modern instances. He talks about modern things. Intelligent things. Wise things. And that's he plays this part also. As this part, as he goes on maturing, as, he, as the age passes, he then slowly shifts into the sixth age. The sixth age shifts into the lean and slipper pantaloons. So now he's become lean. You know that paunch, the small muscle inside. Now he's become sort of lean. He wears slipper pantaloons. Now he wears slippers at home. You see that the distance, you can, you can see yourself, your parents, your grandparents. Slipper pantaloons. Now he wears uh, those, you know, loose fitting clothes. Start wearing loose fitting clothes and then clothes also, even they have to tie the belt. Otherwise, you know, pantaloons is loose only. They wear slippers, they wear those loose pants, pantaloons. Pantaloons is a pant is a short form of pantaloon. With spectacle, spectacles on nose and pouch on his side. Now pouch is a, you realize the skin. The skin now sags. See, you have a tight skin. Your mother's hands will also be. Once you see the grandmother's hand or the grandfather's, they have really loose skin. The skin is loose. So that's a pouch on side. His youthful horse, well saved a world too wide, from his shrunk shank. And his big manly voice, turning again towards childish shrivels, pipes and whistles in his tongue. So he says that now the sixth stage is when he's now become a senior citizen, you can see. Maybe he's in his late 50s and 60s. Now he has spectacles, a pouch on the side. Then he has his youthful goals. You know, when if you've seen English movies, in those the young people used to wear those tights, tight slack leggings, okay, tight uh, socks, tight sandals. So that is known as hose. The tight hose is now well saved. Well saved means he no longer wears those tight hose. A whole because his shanks, that means this part. It's Shrunk. It's shrunk now. You know, it's a little bit like this. It's a little bit like this. So you can't wear those tight socks and tight leggings with tight things. So they're all loose clothes. Now his voice, something that he had when he was young, he had this nice manly voice. Now that manly voice is turning again towards childish children. By speaking, they, their voices, the voice shakes. Then you can't, it feels as if there's a whistle in the sound. You can't hear all the words here. So the voice that he had, this nice manly voice, has changed and become like a childish rebel. Suddenly the quality of voice changes with age. And there's childish treble, pipes, and whistles in this song. While right? saying, 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 speaking, you feel as if they're whistling. And then slowly, as they move ahead in life, this stage finally enters the last seventh stage. Last stage of all. That ends this strange, eventful history. His second childishness and his mere oblivion, sans sleep, sans eyes, 
Some seized, some said. You see, this from sixth stage, when you go to the seventh stage, it is second childishness. You can't do many things on your own. You're totally dependent on others. And when you progress in this stage, that basically brings the end of your eventful journey. It's near oblivion. Oblivion is when you don't understand what is happening. You start forgetting. Forgetting most of the things. And finally, your, your soul teeth, soul eyes can't see, soul taste, soul everything. You're without everything. That is, you are basically on the level. So, 400, 500 years ago, Man, every man went through the same stage. And even today, when we are so developed, mostly in these stages, <laughs> you understood? If you read the poem once and see if you can't understand, if you have not understood. Sorry? Ballad. Go full ballad. Ballad is a song, a long song. Go full is sad. So he writes all these sad songs made to his mistress' eyebrows.
the three questions. First one. On the world stage is an extended metaphor for on the world stage. Life of no. Does it stand for what does it compare to? Metaphor means compare to. Is this a comparison here? What does it stand for? Sorry? Life of man. It's the life of man. Birth and death. Birth and death. That's right. Exit and entrance and entrance. Death and birth. Exit and entrance should be death and birth. The seven roles. What do you mean? Then the twenty part. Chronological age is that. Come to question six. The word merely believes that the poet regards views of human life as uninspired. When is this merely? All the other stage, they have, all the men are merely players. Merely just so uninspired. No, not uninspiring, sorry, inconsequential. Inconsequential energy. The opinion option that does not match with the poetic device used in the phrase on the world stage. On the world stage, the real world is like one is a stage. Metaphor. The answer is a thing of beauty is joy forever. Lightning was part of the sky or lightning was fireworks in the sky. Yeah, this was all the words. I think spirals in the sky. Heavy is a part that fell in the ground. The movie was to the ocean right to the sky. The lightning was spirals in the sky sounds better now. Yeah. You mark that and see whether your teacher is accepting this or not. Who always eats 
obtaining assist. So the tone of the word in the line is youthful force. Well said, a word to wide. For a shrunk shrank is largely nostalgic. Nostalgic is the word that you have to remember. That is nostalgic. You can remember when you think of your childhood. That is nostalgic. Select the option that displays the changes. Very old age witness.
Can you write all the questions? They have their exits and their entrances. What will you write? They have their exits and their entrances and their entrances. Or this is at the river in this one. To face? Yes. To face or death and the... Both. Yes. It's the way all in the end. Okay, you write the answer. Write the answer, then I'll discuss the second. How many parts does the man does every man play? Seven parts. What does a man do in the first stage? Okay, so he as an infant, he only mules and mules in the nurse's arms. Good, you write this the answer. Done? How many questions? How does the schoolboy walk to the school? Boy 
so the school boy walks unwillingly to the school like a snake which okay with such shiny one what is the third stage of life so that's a what in the poem you can write third stage of life is that of a is that of a lover first stage can infant second stage school boy third stage lover what does the lover do right it's right 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 move full battles to his for his mistress items yes describe two traits of a soldier okay first you write these two answers you write तुम्हारी तो छुट्टियां भी नहीं है ना ओके इफ यू राइट व्हाट डज द लवर डू व्हाट डज द लवर डू डिस्क्राइब टू ट्रेड्स ऑफ अ सोल्जर We are dead like a bug. Yeah. Describe the appearance of a justice.
What is a lean and flippered pantaloon? A thin old man wearing slippers and loose trousers. So, a thin old man. It means a thin old man wearing slippers and loose trousers. What is the spelling of loose? Very good. Trousers, even if you write pants, it's fine. Thin old man wearing loose trousers. Why is the last stage of man being called a second childishness? Because a person uh, becomes like a child. Okay. So at that stage, the man becomes like a child and he's completely dependent on uh, others. And, uh, you know, they become a little producing. They don't listen to tell them not to do it. They just still do it. So they become a little stubborn. So you can say that uh, in the last stage, the last stage of man's life, the last stage of man's life has been called a second childishness. as is as his voice appearance as his voice appearance is like a child he is also dependent on others for most of his needs and require and needs to be taken care of and needs to be taken care of therefore this is Second childishness. So that's all. I understood. Is there something you would like to ask? Go through the question answers once and then you can move the most time. Agar wo dono hote to thoda has lete na aaj. This is like a personal tuition. I'm giving you a personal tuition.
Now most of it is metaphor and simile. जहाँ पे भी like, as, ऐसे use किया है ना words, वो simile है. मतलब first word line is all the words are same metaphor. All the men and women are merely players metaphor. Then binding from a shining morning face, creeping like snail. That is simile. Bearded like the bird. That is silly. अगर पूछा तो usually ये poem में से they will only ask mostly about metaphor and silly. So there are these are the metaphor and silly. So different. Went through all the question answers. Oh, we get. That's the last. Last one is it has little two lines. They are not particular about your long hair, short hair in school. Good. I can say it looks like a charcoal. Only then. They don't trouble you to cut your hair. My partner. Your partner? Gets good. Oh, gets so good. It's fine. It's okay. You have a long walk, Nina. How long does it take for you to go to school then? No, yeah, I go back and back. Back. So it's hard to get in. Oh, ten minutes. So last time when we were not there, we did the uh, unless.
No man has fallen. And she said, We haven't finished the first chance of this. So, what was your experience of Canada? You are on time or a change? Should I switch off the Paris? Chances. The friend is something nice. 